Geological history reference table worksheet number two. Let's take a look at the answers. First thing we want to do is look at this critter right here. Find that that matches up with letter C, the fake ops. I'm going to find letter C on the list right over here. That's going to help me in terms of finding a number of things. First, going through some of the things that I ha have to find out. I start off with the Eon, but let me just take a look. If I go across here, I find out that this is a Middle Devonian. So the Epoch would be Middle. The period would be Devonian. I go into the Paleozoic. And as we said in the, the other uh, video, our Eon is going to be Phenerozoic. So our answer for the first box would be the following. Let's take a look at the next critter here. This matches up with letter N on the list right over here. Letter N matches up right here. If I take this to the side, I see this is Middle Devonian again, Paleozoic, Phenerozoic. My answer to the second problem is as follows. Let's take a look at the third. Third organism matches up with letter H on the list here, this one over here. Letter H matches up over here. If I go off to the side, I see that is late Silurian, Paleozoic, Phenerozoic. Let's take a look at this index fossil matches up with letter X, which is out here. Letter X matches up on the table right over here. If I go to the side here, I see that is also middle Devonian, Paleozoic, Phenerozoic. Now that takes care of the four parts to number one. Let's take a look at number two. In number two, we're asked to find the age and the type. The age is going to be measured in millions of years ago and the group of organisms that existed. Sometimes we'll estimate the millions of years ago. Other times we'll take a more mathematical approach to it. So for the first one, match that up with letter V on the list. That's this uh, organism right here. Letter V on the list matches up with this group of organisms right here. So that's the corals. Now what about the number of years ago we would have found this organism? I go back to the, the chart here for letter V, follow letter V. I'm going to see that letter V falls into this area right about here. Now if this number right here is 359 million years ago and this is 416, it, it wouldn't be improper, let's say if you had multiple choice, to estimate that that letter matches up with somewhere around 400 million years ago. Let's take a look at the second organism here. This matches up with letter B on the chart. Letter B is this one right here, and letter B matches up right over here. Now, if I take a look at where letter B ends up, it ends up in between 444 and 488. And let's say I wanted to find that exactly. Let's say I was looking for a, 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 an exact number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an average of those two numbers, 466. So 466 being would be right in the very center. Sometimes it is easy to mathematically get a good value from there. So we'll go with about 466 million years ago. Next organism on our list is this one here. It matches up with letter R. Letter R matches up on the chart above here, uh, right over here with what are called the placoderm fish. These were fish that actually became extinct. If you take a look, this is one of the lines that just ends right here. These fish had an armored outer coating and they became extinct at about 359 million years ago. Well, in any case, we do know it's a placoderm fish and if we wanted to estimate, we could just say it's somewhere above 359, let's say about 370, somewhere between 359 and 370. The last organism on the list is, uh, matches up with letter O, which is this organism right here. That matches up with the beluga whale, which you can see entails this whole thing. So that could be anywhere between 1.8 million years ago to present. Question number three, which four index fossils were living during the Middle Ordovician? Here's Middle Ordovician. Like over here, I can see B, D, T, W. So what I need to do is I need to go to the bottom and write down the names of B, D, T, T, and W. 
There are BDTW, their names of the organism. Number four, list the number of years making up the following periods. Also list one important geological event that occurred during that time period. If you take a look at the Triassic, Triassic begins here, ends here. If I subtract the two, 251 minus 200, I get 51 million years. The important geological event would be found here. Pangaea breaks up. For the Cretaceous, Cretaceous begins 146 million years ago and 65.5, subtract the two. I get 80.5, and for the Cretaceous, I could either put sands and clays underlying Long Island and Staten Island deposited, or the dome-like uplift of the Adirondacks. For the Quaternary, the Quaternary begins 1.8 and is up to the present, so subtract that, I get 1.8 million years. And the important part about that is the advance of the and retreat of the last continental ice. The Cambrian begins at 542, ends at 488. Subtract the two, and I get 54 million years. And the important geological event would be the widespread deposition over most of New York along the edge of the Iapetus Ocean. Number five, list one major event pertaining to life on Earth that occurred during each of the following epochs. The Pleistocene epoch is located right here, humans, mastodonts, and mammoths. The late Mississippian, abundant amphibians. The late Cambrian, late Cambrian, Nothing listed. Early Cretaceous. Earliest flowering plants. Diverse bony fishes. Question number six. What were the two most recent tectonic events that affected northeastern United States? So we're going to take a look over here. Tectonic events involve plates. Don't like uplift of the Adirondack regions begins and the initial opening of the Atlantic Ocean. North America and Africa separate the most recent of tectonic events. Which general direction has North America been moving the past 232 million years? So if you take a look over here, North America was here. It has moved to the north and to the west. Number eight, list the names of the following index fossils from order of oldest to youngest. Here's what I did to solve this. Uh, what I did is I went through and I found the letter of each. So for this one over here, this was letter J. I found out when that occurred, uh, when this fossil was around, an early Ordovician. And I did that for each of the organisms. And here's my listing of each of the organisms with their letters and when they occurred. And after that, I placed them from the oldest to the youngest. Oldest being that I'm working my way up the list here. So putting things in order, letter A. Early Middle Cambrian would have been the oldest. J, Early Ordovician, followed by D, which was the Middle Ordovician, followed by U, which was the Early Silurian, P, Late Silurian, and finally the uh, letter O, which goes along with the Quaternary. How many years ago was the Appalachian Orogeny? Now, the Appalachian Orogeny and the Allegheny Orogeny are the same thing. If we take a look over here and follow this line right here, that brings me to 299 million years ago. How many years have humans been on Earth? On the chart here, humans are listed in between 1.8 million years ago and 10,000 million years ago.